Burgers is just awesome. But today I'm gonna share the burger that changed my life forever. And it's easy. So let's do it. When those thin patties almost fall apart. Fuck yeah. And well that's perfect. If you that's put it on the heat, perfect. then it's I want a burger. You want downstairs? Yeah. Okay. Yes! For those of you who still don't believe I'm French. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour Giselle. Uh, parce qu'on on veut filmer. Est-ce que vous pouvez faire envoyer en haut un French onion soup burger medium? Avec de la moutarde à côté. Chef Brian Tsao here, not your typical chef, owner of Mission Sandwich Social, located in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, winner of Beat Bobby Flay Season 1. And today, I'm going to be reacting to Guga Foods. This burger changed my life. So easy to make with your favorite guest, Chef Paul Frenchy Denamiel. Hi, guys. Before I go on with today's episode, I do want to give a special shout out to my amazing patrons, Felix Hansen, Fable and Flourish. Guys, thank you so much for your support. You, along with all the patrons, really do make a difference on this channel. And with that said, on to the reaction. Frenchy, how are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? I am tired. Right. I am tired. I just came from the hospital visiting my wife and my newborn child. I am a father again. Another girl. I want to say her name so badly. Yeah, I know. Don't say her name, <laughs> but I am so thrilled, but also so tired. But did you not know this going in? What? That you were going to be tired? <laughs> the first one didn't. <laughs> I, I thought you meant like, did you not know you were having a child <laughs> going into the hospital? Well, with you, that could be possible. Yeah, too. that could be possible. No, very true. Very true. No, doing well, doing well. Extremely happy. Totally ecstatic. Uh, but with that said, I'm not going to let the, 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 you see how tired I am? I'm not going to let that stop me from hanging out with you and filming an episode for the people. You literally spent the day with me, the day your second daughter was born. Yeah, 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 I know. It was awesome. With that said, instead of torturing you today, I wanted to do a video that we both can thoroughly enjoy. Let me, let me, what do I enjoy? What do I enjoy? Good food, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's food related, right? Yeah, I'm, of course. I'm like, guessing. This is, this is Pro Chef Reacts. But our favorite YouTuber. Ah, Guga! Yeah! It's a Guga! It's a Guga! It's a Guga! It's a Guga! Yeah, Let me see Guga. the Guga, please. Let's see the Guga. All right. Welcome back to Guga Foods, everybody. This is the burger that changed my life. If you are new to my channel, you might not know this, but I love steaks. And I can honestly say I've tried them all. Oh my god. Ooh. See that? Oh, I want that outer. I want that outer deckle. That, that, you know, the deckle. I, I, there's nothing better than ordering that with someone who doesn't know better. Yeah. And you eat. Okay, I'll take this fatty part. I'll give you the nice lean part. Wait, wait. You see, so what Frenchie is, this is a rib steak right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that is the deckle. That is the cap yeah, above rib the cap. eye. So this is, th this is a rib eye. This is the eye right here. And then there's this layer of fat around the eye. And then there's this cap oh. that has fat on top of the cap. and be, But interlaced in this cap is also lots of fat and some uh, tender, delicate tissue that when it cooks, it oh. renders and it melts out. And yes, I am right there with you, oh, buddy. It is so good. It is so good. I always, um, I always, that's like, if you, you know, Blondie, like she, she doesn't want that. She'll take that off. And yeah. like, I'm like, oh. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Is that why you married her? Oh, I think so. I think so. I think by now, and if it didn't come out, I'm sorry, but uh, I think by now our video with Guga should have come out where you and I go toe to toe making our best steak dishes for Guga and team. Toe to toe? Yeah, it was, it was a Not competition. A oh, I thought it was a short joke. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. And Frenchie made a deckle steak. So if yes. you guys didn't see that video, a link will pop up here or here. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, check out that video. It's a lot of fun. Uh. Whoa. Whoa. Burgers, on the other hand, I have made quite a few as well. Monster burgers, fancy burgers premium burgers. And to be honest, burgers are just awesome. But today I'm going to share the burger that changed my life forever. And it's easy. So let's do it. When those thin patties almost fall apart mm -hmm, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Now, so is that a Juicy Lucy? No, that's not a Juicy Lucy. That's uh, that's that's definitely a double cheeseburger. A Juicy Lucy will, the, 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 the cheese is stuffed within the patty. Right. Right. But this is, I think this, this is a double smash burger, which I mean, listen, we all love burgers. 
you know, obviously like part of it's our- It's a perfect food. It's a perfect food. It's the yeah. perfect food. Yeah, part of our friendship is built on my love affair with your burger, literally. Uh -huh. um, Le Ravages. The burger's French what onions. got me on the show where right. we, where we, we met. met. Yeah, actually very there good. You go. Yeah, yeah. So, the, so it's the gift that keeps on giving. It is the gift that keeps on giving. So Frenchie and I became friends because we were both on a show called Beat Bobby Flay. And we happened to be at this party. his name out. Yeah. <laughs> we met at a party, at a chef's party. And uh, we just kind of kept in touch since. But anyway, Frenchie's French Onion Soup Burger is literally my favorite burger in the universe. The universe. The universe. You should definitely come check it out. But very different from this. Your, yours is more of a classic thick patty burger. Yeah. Right. But you know what? We should one day do, because I know he was supposed to do a, well, another hint to Google's show. He wanted me to do a slider. I couldn't do a slider. I didn't, I yeah, 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 yeah. Well, <laughs> like, he's like, this is not a slider. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> well, in, in that sous vide everything video, which came out already. Oh, it did. Okay, it did yeah, come out. Yeah. yeah he, Whatever. He, come on. You, you know, I don't. I You posted about it. Yeah, I know. Forget about it. All right. What's funny is Guga in the video called it a slider. And everyone in the comments was like, that's a slider. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, and, then, and, then, and then and then and then he said, he's like, is that a is that a slider? Like, and I go, no, it's a mini burger. <laughs> <laughs> this burger has very few elements, so you gotta get them right. 80-20, good. 70-30, better. Okay, why is 80-20 good? 20% well, fat. Listen, at home, at home, I would I would tend to be lean and try to just to be a little bit healthier. Mm -hmm. But the more fat in it, the better. Come mm -hmm. on. Oh, mm -hmm. the flavor, all the flavors in the fat. Yeah. Sorry to say. I mean, I most most people know this already. 80-20 is referring to the amount of lean protein to fat content. The the more fat, the juicier it's going to be, but the less healthy it's going to be. The more, the, the less fat, obviously the more healthy, higher protein content. Okay. It is important to use 80% lean and 20% fat. You need the fat. Look at, look at Guga's hands. They're very, they're pudgy there. They're pudgy. He's, he's got fat hands. You got fat hands. All right, you should, you should, Yeah, show them, show everyone your hands. I don't have fat yeah, hands. I got uh, sexy hands. They're, they're strong fat look, hands. Look, nice, nice uh, manicured. That's a do on the to-do list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So by now, our no, not yet. Our podcast wouldn't have officially been no? out yet. You can watch the pilot episodes on Chef Ryan Salraw. But yeah, we're some content's going to come out that's going to involve Manny and Petties. Should be fun. Listen, I was always uncomfortable. My manlyhood was like, oh, I'm not doing that, but dude. Once you. Once you fall for it, oh, God, it's <laughs> have fun. So you can just buy on your regular grocery store. You'll do just fine. This is the easiest burger you ever made in your life. One of the things that made this burger awesome is getting the ratios correctly. And for me, for my size bun, I like to use two and a half ounces per patty. You might be thinking that I'm a little bit crazy by measuring it, but trust me, you will get the best results. So two and a half ounces balls were... We all know that we would like that in our kitchen, them... We would like our employees to measure everything. Does it get measured? No. no, no, no. I mean, well, for my shop, everything is measured, but it's, you know, by design for the sandwiches. It is the perfect ratio. As you might have noticed, I did not season the meat. You're only going to season it once it's on the grill. Why? Why, Frenchie? Why Why don't you season now and mix it well, into the protein? The, the salt's going to make it sweat. It's going to make it sweat, but it's also going to manipulate the protein texture. So, oh, yeah. That's know. even more important, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. Right? So once you put in the spices, specifically salt, if you pre-mix it into the burger meat, it, it's just the texture is going to be grainy. You don't you don't want that. So I'm just going to recommend you not to compress them too much. Leave some air gaps because what you want is maximum brownie. The brownie is where it's at on this burger. By leaving the air gaps when you're smashing it, it will render the fat and basically fry the patty on its own juices. And it's awesome. I started up with ketchup followed by mayo, a little bit of yellow mustard. For a nice kick, I'm using this Brazilian hot sauce. And if you never tried it, Oh man, it's good. Then I finish it up with Worcestershire sauce, mix it well, and my sauce was done. Okay. All right, the next item is going to be quite It's your special sauce. Listen, I, I know, you know, French and everything, and I like and be are very pretentious, and we love our cheese and everything. But, um, and my hamburger has a French cheese on it, but my favorite hamburger on the world, in the world, has American cheese on it. Sorry to say. There's nothing like American cheese to get that childhood memory like boom right back in the, you know. Notice I am not saying anything. 
Okay. Just nodding and agreeing because okay. yes. Some of you are going to tell me, Guga, that's not cheese. That's plastic. How can you eat that processed thing? That's terrible. Yes. I can tell you why you eat that thing. This is good. It's good. It's, it's good. good. It's I don't good. care what anyone says. I understand all of you, but trust me, you cannot replace that with this burger. If you want to have the experience, you have to use the American processed cheese. Yeah. You know, and you're not allowed to call that cheese anywhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think in Europe, like, it's illegal to it's call illegal that cheese. It's illegal to call it cheese product or something. I don't know. Or imitation cheese. I don't know what, but it's not a lot to be called cheese. The cheap stuff. I have other cheeses, but for this burger, I am not using it. Hashtag go easy on Google in the comment section. You know what I'm talking about, all the cheese police. For the buns, I am using brioche buns. If you don't have brioche buns available in your area, you can also make Guga's buns. It's quite similar, but not the same. And if you haven't seen Guga's buns video yet, make sure you check it out later on. It's an awesome video. But now that we have everything ready, it is time to get cooking. But first, I want to explain the technique because it's 100% about the technique. If not, you won't get it right. The number one thing to remember is heat. If you can't get it hot, this oh, will using never a work. Instead of cooking your burger, you will steam it and you will never get the same effect. Mm, yeah, so what's going on there, Frenchie, with that burger patty? It looks gray. Yeah, it's anemic. So the pan is just not fiery hot. So he went through all the process. He did that just to show I an example. I think he did that just to show an example. That's pretty nice. Yeah. I would still eat it. Why? No, not if you have good stuff right no, well you don't waste it i would chop it up with the cheese and make a cheese like like a no, well, I, I mean, I won't eat it. I won't just take that. Okay, patty move on, and... move on. Hey, everyone, guess what? New merch drop. Myself and Justin Wang, the man behind Tales from the Internet, are going to be collabing on a very special and very limited run of t-shirts. Hell yeah. When I say limited, I mean limited. Limited to 36 pieces. Pre-orders are now open, so make sure you visit the link in the description below to get yours today, because remember, limited to 36 pieces. Once we hit that mark, we are closing it down that's it and once they're gone they are gone forever don't miss out on this very special and very limited run of chef brian sow and wang collab teas remember when they're gone they are gone forever so make sure you visit the link down below and pre-order yours today ah. the charcoal, because that will get as hot as possible if you don't have charcoal available at least get a powerful gas stove and let it preheat for quite a bit these burgers will cook in seconds and if you don't have a strong stove like this one just make sure you let it preheat for quite some time and do it preheating in people you, got you always win if you preheat mm. oh look at that oh yeah look at that crust that's man. a nice crust there yep, yep. Yep. How to use cast iron. The number one thing you're looking for is browning. You want that Maillard effect hard yeah, and well that's pronounced. If you that's put it on the heat perfect. and it's not hot enough, instead of browning, you'll get steam. And as it's steam, you will never get that deliciousness that comes from the Maillard reaction. Maillard reaction. Isn't it amazing that we never grow tired of washing of stuff like this? Like a good quality food and you, like the fact that we know like, oh, like I know that's gonna taste good. <laughs> That's gonna taste so good. If not, you would just make a mess and you would just be terrible. You would never experience it the right way. The burger would just be nasty. I'm telling you, I've done it. I recommend these two items. One is like a burger flipper and the other one is a spatula. When you're putting your meat on the grill, you will get stuck like there's no tomorrow. And the spatula is amazing to rip up all yeah, that goodness from the cast iron. You need the right tools. Again, don't use this yep. or this. But now that we have everything ready, it is time for me to introduce- Was it a paint scraper, grill. right? No, it's a paint scraper. That's the best no, tool. Yeah. It's the best On tool. a griddle? Yeah. Look, look at that. That is three, well, four, if 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 you consider the sauce he made one ingredient, right? Because it's several ingredients yeah. to make that sauce. But, but I that's, mean, but that's what you want. Yeah, it's, it's what just, you want. It's just and then, simplicity and then, is and elegance. And that's what you want when you're doing a load of them. Yeah. Boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom, yeah. and just make, you know, just wheel them out. Enough talking, and it's time to smash them. So let's do it. Wait. So we didn't even go through the process. He's gonna do it again. No, he, he's gonna cook it now. This is, okay. this is cooking time. This is when the Ford truck, you know, Home Depot music comes on. Oh, we need beer. Yeah? We need beers, yeah. Okay. Oh, now we're doing beers? Yeah, Celebrate. my daughter. Can you get us a couple of good beers this time? Oh my God. I 
have one for you. Like, see that step where you put the bun on the grill directly? Like, would you put fat or butter or anything to just to toast them a little bit? Or the just or just toast them like that? Is I, that too much? No, no, I wouldn't put it. Because my favorite fat. thing is like yeah. if you're on the griddle, right? Right. And you have the you take the fat, right, right. you take the fat right, from right. the from the burgers yeah. and then you you use that to toast it. That, yes, but I mean, like he's doing this for a home application, that flat top is not big enough for that. Yeah, but technically you, know? you can do that in a pan. You take out the burger, yeah, then you toast yeah, your yeah. bun. I mean, for, for me, I wouldn't out of convenience. I, I'm just being brutally honest. I, I'm just lazy and I would just grill it on. So what are you doing with all the fat that's in the pan? Throwing it out? Uh, 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 I got you there! Oh, oh he got me. <laughs> Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't have those, the big, uh, a big smasher. Oh my God, that was so good. Oh, 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 the God. cheese <laughs> got crust on it too. Oh yes, that is the best. Oh, oh look at that. I'm drooling. Oh, oh, oh yes. That's it, that's it. There is nothing better than that. There's nothing better than that, guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, oh my three. god, three! No, you don't need three, guys. Sometimes too much is too much. You don't need three. I would actually. You could still do three. You could still do three. Yeah. Four, four is pushing. You need, but I had a Zersky, a good friend of mine yeah. who passed away. Yeah. And he was a burger fanatic. Yeah. It's got to be a perfect ratio of like the amount of bread to meat yeah. has to. They're, they're, I agree with that. There's an equation. Yes, I agree so with that. So that's why I would rather have like, like two thin ones. Yeah then a double. I agree, I agree. You know, I like the ratio of- so On this bun, bread. you could do two burgers. If the bun was a little bit smaller, I would just do one. Yeah, yeah, no, the ratio is definitely important. And like- That cheese is so intermixed, it's gonna be good. Oh, yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be good. Gonna well, be good. that's why I like thin patties with cheese interlaced between, because there's just, it's just gonna be moist and creamy and meaty, no matter what. All right, everybody, this is the burger that changed my life for so many reasons. It is easy to make. Who's the kid well, on the right? We, did we meet him? I mean, this is, no, no, we didn't meet him. I have, I have no idea who he is, but this is the early days of Guga's channel back at his old place. I haven't even been there. Oh, this is not the same location? No. no. I mean, look, Guga still has hair. Uh, I'm glad that you think that's hair. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm not hating. I, hey, I love the okay. bald look. Enough talking. Let's give it a try. Go for it, guys. Dig in. All right. Big bite. Smash burger, Cheers. baby. Cheers. So jealous. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you see how excited he is? That's the best burger in the world. Period. 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 That is incredible, everybody. Oh my goodness. Can we order some burgers now? From downstairs? Yeah. I don't want the burgers from downstairs. I want those burgers. I want a burger. You want downstairs? Yeah. Okay. Yes! Wait, the American? Yeah. L'Americain? Yeah. L'Americain. For those of you who still don't believe I'm French. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want the French onion soup burger. Okay. Bonjour, Giselle. Uh, parce que on veut filmer. Est-ce que vous pouvez faire envoyer en haut? A French onion soup burger medium, avec de la moutarde à côté. Oui. Et an American burger extra cheese. Medium. Extra et, cheese. Ok. Oui. Et, et qu'il est. Et dès qu'ils peuvent les amener en haut, parce qu'on peut le filmer. Oui, oui, les frites et tout dans l'assiette. Et ils n'ont pas besoin de faire tout oui, go. Oui. Et dans l'assiette, ok? Ok. Ok, merci. We ordered burgers. We ordered burgers. Hell yeah. It's juicy. I, I can't even believe how, how good it is. It's incredible. There's so much browning. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Look at Angel's eyes when he said that. Ah. <laughs> Jordan, zoom in on that. Look at him. It's just like, he's like, what the f He looks like such a baby too. <laughs> Incredible. There's so much browning yeah. when you occur, when you make it that way, everybody. It's mm. so flavorful, so juicy, my goodness. I can actually just give it like a soft press like this and I can see the juices start moving. Yeah. The cheese <laughs> melted, amazing. 
you know, and a lot of people are gonna hate on me because I use American cheese. But with this no, burger, no, you nobody's have hating you, Google. Love, 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 you. love, love. We giving, oh we're giving my God. you the love. Lots of love. <laughs> Wait, what's his? He's what? he's not convinced though. What's going on over here? <laughs> Look at him right now. What's going American on there? Cheese. I have a question. Tell me, Andrew. What kind of uh, ground beef did you use? Twenty eighty. A lot of fat. So I have a question. Tell me. An oh, I see where you're going with this. I have an important. Let's keep eating. Important Let's keep eating, Chris. Because I know where he's going with this. Tell me. What if? Mm. <laughs> Are, yeah, you're not ready. I don't yeah. know where you're going. Oh, I know. Wagyu. Oh. Smash burger. You I know he was going to go there. This is already amazing. <laughs> but if we take it to the next level. Chris want to be on that video. No. The Wagyu, like too much fat, right? It would just well, no, it disappear. Did, uh, not, I don't think he's referring to A5 Wagyu. I think maybe like an Australian Wagyu okay. hybrid. I think that would be amazing. That would actually. Right? And actually, let's get into the topic really quick of beef blends. Because I know your beef blend. You've told it to not, me before. But oh, yeah, but don't. No, 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 no. I'm not going to. I'm not going to say it. But what I'm talking about is different cuts of beef yes. give you different flavor yes, profiles. Yes, yes, and yes, I know yes. that you've worked on it, you've tested it, you were nice enough to share it with me, which my lips are sealed. Actually, that's not true. I said it, but I told Jordan to bleep it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was saying like, yeah, so Frenchie does this. And I was like, Jordan, bleep that out. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, no, you've like, can you just let the audience know why a beef blend is important? You need, you need basically need one for flavor, one for texture and one for fat. Beautiful. There you go. There you go. Right. And if you combine all the best of of those, then you you're creating a new cut of meat that right. has everything you need. And and like let me also add that Frenchie's not saying he's using the best cuts of beef. It's just that certain cuts offer mm -hmm. something else, mm -hmm. right? And that's really important. There's certain cuts that taste amazing but are tough. Right. Let's not divulge too many secrets here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you guys want to see. Why you smash burger? Let me know in the comments down below. Give a thumbs up if you want to see it. I yeah. will make it happen. Oh, you know what? Yeah, speaking of thumbs up, give this video a thumbs up. Yes. And a ton of you are not subscribed. Frenchie, can you tell these people to subscribe, please? To, to Google or to us? No, to the audience. Please subscribe. Uh, he, he made me say it. That right. was, there was nothing wrong with that burger. No, no, nothing at all. I, I would, I, I'm uh, giving it a 10 out of 10. You? That is perfect, yeah. Sean. <sighs> I feel good. You did? I'm very happy. I'm good. Very tired, but very happy. But it's this is a good tired. Yes. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Like, I'm going to pick up my uh, first That's daughter, and we're going to go see the baby. And people I People forget I, the, like... I can't wait. I'm so in love. I'm so happy. With me? Yeah, you... Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all honesty, Paul, uh, this is a very special episode for me to film. My daughter was born at a time where everything just worked out and uh, you were one of the guys that really helped me pull through because a couple months ago you know my situation was really bad you know the shop was on the verge of closing um yeah on a business like that i was like but trust me but you're we're always even there you're a yeah. fortunate man because you went through some hard <laughs> hard and we can get into that in a podcast episode but oh that is yeah <laughs> <laughs> but you went through some hard and you were the one that just assured me uh that it gets better it always just, gets better you just keep going and you know and one thing that um really made me believe it was seeing how you raised your kids because uh, specifically your son because I, I i know him now but watching how he turned out knowing the piece of that you are <laughs> what <laughs> seeing how much of an amazing human he turned out to be just really inspired me to keep going so Thanks. genuinely from the bottom of my heart i wasn't trying <laughs> Genuinely from the bottom of my heart, man. Thank you for oh, being my friend. Fist bump? Fist bump. Okay. Yes, thank you. Cheers. You want to give me a hug, don't you? I do. Oh, I love you, buddy. I love you, too. Yeah, you said it! Oh, I got it to say it! <laughs> <sighs> One for posterity. I, I, did, I did get you to say it without you realizing in the first podcast pilot. Yeah, you see, you don't even remember. No, I don't yeah, know it just came out like that. I didn't, I didn't mention it because I don't want you to realize it. Yeah, and then, I, I don't throw it. I love you. 
Hey, are you enjoying this content and want to stay up to date for the latest and greatest for all things Chef Brian Tsao? Then you should join my mailing list. Why should you join the mailing list? Well, it's a sneak peek of things to come that I don't plug right away on the main channel. For example, those on the mailing list got to hear about my merch collab with Frenchie for our straight out of compliments to the chef tees. Don't miss out on news like the podcast I'm launching with Frenchie where the pilot will be available on Chef Brian Tsao Raw. Guess what? You don't have to miss out again by signing up. Lastly, your data is safe and it's not being used for anything else except to keep you up to date with all things Chef Brian Sal. Be sure to visit the link in the description below and sign up for the mailing list today. Before we close out this episode, I do want to say thank you to all of my amazing patrons. Guys, thank you so much for your support. And remember, for the rest of you, by becoming a patron, you get to take advantage of some awesome perks like early access to new episodes, uncensored extended versions of certain episodes, and most importantly, patron exclusive content. Everyone, hope you enjoyed this video as much much as we did making it. And remember, don't be afraid to fail because it can only make you stronger. With that said, I'm Chef Brian Tsao, not your typical chef. Brian Chi. And we'll see you really soon. Say bye. Bye.